have any questions regarding different goals, you can let me know so we can discuss it. But for the goal of a website, okay, it is actually direct the visitors to relevant content. For example, we have the navigation bar about us, the contact us and blog. So different people, if let's say they want to view your blog, then they will click the blog buttons. So the website will be redirected to the blog. And for contact purpose, they will go to the contact us page. So your website, the goal of the website actually is to direct the visitors to some, some places that they are looking for. So that is the main difference of the goal. And also for the content, actually, the content of a landing page is specific to the benefits of the desired action. So for example, if let's say you want them, you want the visitors to sign up, so your content must, how to say, have, uh, have to guide them uh, step by step, why I have to sign up and how to sign up, something like that. But for the website, the content is actually covering your overall services or the products for your business. So that is the main difference. So landing page and website is different. You can't use the sense of designing of uh, designing a website to do your landing page because it will not work. Yeah, so that is the main differences. So I hope you guys can understand um, these three elements. I think it's not that hard. So if let's say you have any questions later, we can discuss about that. Yep, so, oh, yep. So this is um, basically, can you guys let me tell me this image is a website or a landing page? Can you comment in the chat so that I can have uh, understandings whether you know what I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm talking just now. Okay, good. This is a website, okay? This is a website. So normally website, we have the navigation bar like the logo button, the home about us, our services, contact us, and sign up, something like that is similar. And also so we have the content, which yeah, I just used the line and also a square to represent the content. And I believe you understand it. So lastly, we will have a photo, okay? A photo that may be covering the, you know, it's like the address of your businesses and also some social icons so that people can link to your social medias. So this is, you know, it's like the standard template of a web uh, of a web page. So for landing page, we don't need the navigation bar. We don't need a footer. Okay, we don't need that. The reason is because you want to minimize the friction or the distractions for the people for the web visitors to go up to achieve your final goals. For example, let's say we use um, sign up. Okay. So if let's say you have so many buttons on your navigation bar and also in your photos, then people might, you know, have lost focus and at the end might not achieve the goals that you want them to do. So for landing page, you need the web visitors at the end to do some things that is purposely served for your business needs. For example, like sign up. So without the navigation bar, without the photos, without the link that is able to redirect to other pages, people can fully focus on your landing page and you will have a higher chance to make them do the actions that you want them to do. So that is the reasons why a landing page shouldn't have the navigation bar and also the footer. So this is the main ideas. You guys get it? If, if let's say yes, can you type one to let me know so you understand this? Okay, Ahmad Johan, thanks. Okay. I think most of you guys understand it. So I continue first. Um, yeah. So we have a question number two. So we have only three questions. It's a very fast one. So if you guys are ready, then I'm going to start. Yeah. So answer as fast as possible so that you can get a point. So how many seconds does a web visitor take to decide whether to read the landing page? Three, five, or 10? During how many seconds they have to use to decide whether they want to leave from your landing page or continue to read it. Okay. Yes. Most of you guys, most of you guys answer it correctly. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. Now the leaderboard's got some changes. Yeah. Shelly is still the first ones, and yeah. Okay, Nasmi will be, become the third ones, and Nemo is going down. So, ah, okay, Shelly is the good. Uh, so far, 
You answer is correctly and very fast. Okay, so basically, the audiences that came uh, that came, come to your landing page will only give you three seconds. It's similar to like when you are scoring uh, the Facebook page, Facebook ads, when you are scoring the Facebook feeds, you will see some sponsor ads. So normally you won't give them more than three seconds. It is much more, you know, like maybe one second also you, you are not giving them. If let's say it cannot attract you within one to three seconds, maybe you just go down. Okay, so same to the landing page because uh, if you are startups, you don't have a very strong brand. You, you, you don't have a strong branding. People might not know you. So the tolerance that is given by the users is, you know, like really limited. So you have to attract them within the shortest time so that they can read full of your landing page. And at the end, you hope them to do the actions that you desire them to do. So that's why it's important for the first three seconds. So this is a uh, formula that uh, I, you know, like I conclude by myself after I'm doing so many landing, so many landing page within these uh, few years. So these three things is the most important elements that you have to let the users or the web visitors to know it as soon as possible, especially the first one, which is who is this for? Okay, why? Because human being is, how to say, human being is more um, focusing on self-benefits, okay? You care yourself more than others, okay? They, this is the truth, okay? Is, I give you an example. When you are studying in your primary schools, if let's say the teacher say, hey boys, if you are a girl, probably you won't pay attention because you know the teacher is not calling you. So same, if you are a boy, I mean, like, it, 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 you know, it's like people are going to focus on the things that is related to themselves. So who is this for is very important. You have to let the web visitors know that, okay, this is something talking with me and I need this. So I have to pay more attention to read um, the following contents, you know, so after the, I mean, after, after the big title. So who is this for? It's very important. If you can't make the audiences or the web visitors feel that, okay, this is important for me and this might help me. So they are going to click the go back buttons or, you know, like close your website directly. So you will lose a potential customer. So the first thing first is who is this for? It's very important. Uh, later on, I'm going to share with you about how to make this much more solid so that you can have uh, good mechanisms to write the statement. So after that is the how it works, okay, all the benefits. So what are the problems that you are solving? What is your solutions? And what are the benefits that I can gain after I use your products? Okay, so this is important because if let's say you can't tell the visitors how this works within, you know, like uh, within 10 seconds or even 20 seconds, so they would think that, okay, this is too hard for me. Okay, people, human beings is late, human beings are lazy. So you have to make them feel that, okay, if I use the products, step one, two, three, I can solve the problems. So this is what they want. And after that, lastly, is the call to action. So if you have a very nice product, you have a very good features, uh, people feel that, okay, this might the things that I want, but at the end, when I'm scoring down to the to the bottom of your of the landing page, if let's say uh, there there is no buttons or no strong call to actions statements, ask me to do some things, then maybe I will just click back button because I don't know you. This is the first time that I meet you, so you need to have a very strong call to action in order to increase the conversion rate. So this is the three um, principles that I am always focusing on when I'm doing a landing page. Yeah, so the next one is um, is a sample. Okay, we have the, what, sorry, we have three part, part A, B, C. Part A is who is this for? Part B is the how it works and part C is the call to action. So for the part A, part A, sorry, part A. So this is the samples that uh, I just did it uh, for these um, tutorials is a, sh a sample show you how to talk with the users when they landed to your landing page. For examples, okay, if let's say you are doing a product that for purposely for the non-tech founders to create a website without coding. So you have to straight away tell them, okay, we have non-tech founders, we have non-tech founders create a website without coding. Okay. So and then after that, you have a button for them to click to get started. Later on, I'm going to explain why we have to, we need to have a button here. Yeah. So you know, when we break, when we are breaking down their formats of um, statements, you can see that. 
So for the yellow colors highlighted tags, so the non-tag founders are the people that you want to talk with. You, you are assuming, okay, your ideal customer profiles is visiting the page. So you have to tap, uh, talk to them, okay? I know that you are a non-tech founder, okay? So I am talking with the non-tech founders, okay? What are the things that I can create for you is, I know that you don't know how to do technology. You don't know how to do coding, but you want to create a website in order to become a founder. That is the foundations of a startup. So I can help you to create a website without coding. So without coding is the benefits or the problems that you are solving. So this statement is, I mean, like, it is a formula that I'm using, I'm always using is, first thing first, I have to talk to someone, okay, my customer, okay, and then what are the values or the problems that I'm solving for him or hers? So this is that simple. And free to, free to get started is a button, okay, is a call to action button. So why we need to have this is because if you only have the tags, so if let's say they, if, if let's say the customer is already, very interested about these statements, okay? I am the, the non-tech founders. I want to do something. I want to create a website, okay? I don't want to see the bottom thing. Uh, I mean, like the, the, the other contents. This is the things that I already want. So I want, to, I want to get started as soon as possible. But if let's say you don't have a button, then maybe we will reduce um, the person's or the customer's intentions to continue for your services. So it's better to have a button so that people can, you know, say, get the things as soon as possible. So that is the overall concept for the part one, for the who is this for. And after that, it's the part B, okay, how it works. So this, uh, I'm using some, you know, like a very simple icons to represent it. Later on, I will going to share with you some of the good examples and bad examples that uh, I found out within these few years. So for the how it works, you have to show the icon or maybe the screenshots now you have to design it nicely and talk to the users. Okay, how are you going to solve the problems or how are you going to deliver the values that uh, people need or your customers need it? So you can put a feature one, two, three, four, and then uh, explain the features of course. You're, you're not going to just put one, two, and three, and four. So one, two, three, four is just, you know, like the name. For example, like feature one is, you know, it's like um, check out faster, something like that. Yeah, so you have to, Talk about the features and then what are the benefits that these future these features sorry these features will bring to the ideal customers okay so this is a very simple thing so you don't make it to become very long or you know say a paragraph you don't have to do that why because you have to reduce the frictions or the distractions of the users you need to let them know what are the real values that you are providing as soon as possible Okay, so make it sharp, make it nice, and then make sure you don't use jargons. Okay, that is important because maybe you are very expert in the industry, but your customer might not have the expertise. So just speak human language so that they can understand what are the things that you are doing, what is the benefits that I can get from this product. So this is important. And after that, in order to strengthen your, how it works, you can put some testimonials, okay? If let's say you have some users, okay, if you have some users, then uh, you can try to get the feedbacks from them so that when people, the new customer, new potential customer visiting your landing page, they will see that, okay, I am not the first one to try this product. Someone else tried it before and they, they, they providing a good feedback. So that can increase my confidence to try these new products because human being is like, how to say, don't like to change, okay? If uh, uh, perhaps they, they are interested in something new, but they, sometimes they don't dare to become the, you know, the, first, the, the, the first mover. So you need to show some testimonials for him or hers, yeah, in order to increase the confidence levels for them to try a new things. Okay, so if you have testimonial, sorry, testimonial, just show it. Maybe you can put, uh, for example, like your customers, uh, the, uh, the, the designation of your customer is, is the CEO. That will be much more persuasive, okay? If you don't have, maybe it's some manager levels also, it's, it's good to have. But this is an optional, okay? It's, it's not a compulsory. If you have, then you just put it. If you don't have, you don't take it because startup world is very small. If let's say, you know, it's like you put a fake information here and then your, your potential clients, you know, like know the person and then he call or text him, or, then it's very easy you know, to, to know that you are lying. So if you have, you just pay. If you don't have, it's okay. 
So this is just optional. It's not a compulsory, but it's good to have. So the next one is so you can show who are the companies or, or the users or the famous people that is using your products. Okay, so uh, this is also purposely to increase the confidence levels of the potential users to convert, I mean, so to, to do the actions that you want them to do in the call to actions. So the, for part B, you have to deliver the value. I mean, so you have to deliver the values with very short times, okay? And then you have to increase the confidence of the potential users to convert to become your, to, to convert to become your users. So these are the things or the tips that can increase the confidence. And also, Part C is the last part, okay? The, part, the last part will be the call to actions. So you need to use some, you need to trigger the emotions of the potential users. They, are, they already feel excited for your features, but you have to trigger their emotions because you can't make them, you know, say, go back to, you know, say, um, go back to some realistic things, okay? You don't want them to think so much, okay? After you, after they, they are very excited, you have to increase their emotions to the next level so that they can click the button, try it for beats, and you can get a lead and you can follow up later. So you have to use a very strong statements to ask them to do the action. So for example, like these um, examples, uh, you want to kickstart your startups without coding, it's, you know, it's like you strengthen the benefits or the values that you talk to the users initially when they just landed to your landing page. So you remind him, okay, you want to kickstart your startup, no codings, right? Try it for free, click it now. So the persons, you know, like the, the people or the potential users will have a higher chance to do the actions that you want them to do if you have a very strong call to action. So this is a free part of the landing page. Like this is, uh, this is the examples uh, because just now it's a separated part by part. So if let's say I want to design a landing page that is purposely for this, you know, a new startup for non-tech founders to create a, to create a website without coding, this will be some things look like this. Okay, okay. Of course, I'm not going to put the features uh, very details on just a demo. So you can have a look. Uh, this is the overall samples that should be short, clean, and you know, say minimal minimalize the friction or the distraction. Of a landing page. Yeah. So we have the last question before we end uh, the sharing. Yeah. So what is the only goal of a landing page? Yeah. We have only one. Is sales conversion or introduction of the company? Oh my God. Okay. Okay, two of you guys say sales. Um, two of you guys correct, it's conversion. And last, two, still got two people say is the introduction of company. Okay, let's us to see the leaderboard first. To see whether Shelly can still be the first or not. Oh, okay. At the end, Nasmi me become the first person, the champion. Okay, mm -hmm. congratulations. Yeah, okay. So uh, come back to the real, uh, I mean, like real applications. Oh, how to quit this, yeah. So basically that is uh, overall, uh, but I have the answers uh, about the, the, the last question. Why is not sales, okay? Because as I mentioned, uh, initially, the landing page is to serve a specific uh, goals. It can be sales, but not only sales. If your if your campaign is purposely for sales, okay, that is good, okay. But most of the times, when we when we are using a landing page, normally we are not going to do sales. Why? Because uh, when people just you know say just first time to know you is it is very hard for you to close the sales. But you have to you you can let them to you know say to add them, add them, add themselves to your email list, email waiting list or whatever that is in post so that you can follow up later on. So normally when we are talking about the only goals for the convert, for the landing page will be conversions. And what is the conversion? It depends on your business decisions. Can be sales, can be sign up, can be 
email list or whatever thing. So, but why not introduction of the company is because introduction of company is the goal of the website, not a landing page. Yeah, so that's all. Uh, thank you very much for you guys to, you know, that to hear us about half an hour's sharing. Yeah, if maybe, uh, Anik, now is a QA and a or straight away let, let them to, to pitch? I think uh, what we can do is that if they have any questions, we do that first. Yeah. Guys, any questions for Kevin or any inquiries about any page or website, please uh, ask now. Yeah, yeah. You, you can open the mic uh, to ask directly. It would be much more efficient, I think. Anyone? Clear so far. Okay, thanks, Shelly. Oh, you missed tap just now. Okay, okay. No wonder. That was tiga lah. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any question, guys? From Shelly, she said. Uh, Hello. Yep. Yeah, okay, Aina. Hi, Aina. Okay. Um. Uh, is it possible if you could share some of the example? Oh of yeah. Landing page. Good example of landing page. Yeah, yes. I almost forgot it. Sorry about that. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. For your information, Shopify, I think this is the best one. Okay. When I want to do a new landing page, although I'm very experienced in doing landing page, but every time when I want to do a landing page, I will still come back to Shopify to remind me to make it simple, to make it short. So you can see, for Shopify, it is very simple. Build your own e-commerce website in three easy steps, okay? And the call to action is they want, they want to collect your emails, okay? So then you, you can see a very simple image, okay? You, it gives you some imagination about how it is, uh, how it's easy to use Shopify. And after that, the benefits is quite short, three, three points only. So you can understand it very fast and you can get the values uh, within, just within these three, you know, so three elements. You can know it very well already. And also Shopify show you some of their clients to, to increase your confidence. Although Shopify is very big already, but they are still following the similar methods to design landing page. And at the end, it's a strong call to action. So this is the, this is, this is the best landing page that I saw ever, okay? I keep reminding myself to, 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 to come back to the Shopify landing page every time. And okay, this is a good one, okay? Later, I'm going to share you the links because uh, I don't know whether you guys can search the same page with me or not. Uh, I'm going to put it in the chat box. So the bad one, okay? This is uh, lead, okay? For me, it's relatively bad, okay? Not say this is terrible, okay? Lyft is Uber's competitors in US, okay? It's e-hailing. So why it is bad? First thing first, a lot of links that you are able to click. Okay, terms of service, privacy policy, login. Is, you know, like distractions for me to just jump out from this landing page without scrolling down. For example, it's like, okay, now I see, uh, I want to think about the terms of services. Now I can take a look. Okay, after I go, uh, after I read, oh, oh, sorry, we can't find the page. Okay, this is non-believable. I will close the tab. Yeah, so if you have a lot of, you know, like links that can let people jump out from your landing page, that will be a bad example. So they, this is from my perspective. Although Leaf is very big, they are listed companies in Mazda, but this landing page is still considered not a good one. So a lot of tags, yeah, and you know, so a lot of tags and every tags you can see there's some links for you to go out. So this is a bad examples from my perspective. And I'm going to share you this link also at the same time. And this is the landing page that we have done for ourselves. So uh, our target users is the creative designers. So we know that creative designers, they want to have a portfolio website, but they don't know how to do the coding. So we tell them, if you want to have a website in one minute without coding, take this. So this will lead them to view our demo. And this is uh, one of the samples. I mean, like the, the, the animations of the products, we show them how easy is that. And after that, we show the benefits and also the features. So this is according to my format also, and also similar with um, Shopify formats. So after we show them the benefits and also the features, it's a strong call to action. Get started for free by using Google. So this is, uh, from my perspective, this is the best format ever that I have tested. Uh, maybe you guys can guess, okay, how many people, I mean, like, what is the percentage of uh, people, uh, percentage of the people that click 
the buttons. Get started for free via Google. Try to guess. Because I have the data. 50%. Okay, I now say 70. I died. Okay. Okay, I let you know. Okay, for the standard landing feature, if you have a 30% conversion, it's considered high already. Okay, why? Because uh, all the traffic that came into coming to your landing page, they are cold traffic. They don't know you, they might not, they might not know you ever before this. Okay, but for this, we have a 75% of the conversions. Which means one 10 people come in, 7.5 out of them will click the button to join. So this, you know, like you have to use the data to, to, to decide or judge whether the landing page is good for your business or not. So for me, the, the you know, the, the minimum of the minimum requirement is 30% for, 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 for myself. So if you can above 30%, that is good. Yeah. If you can above 50, oh, it's much more battles. So that is the main reasons why we have to make it simple because the the much uh, the, the more complex the landing page is, the less people are going to click the button. <laughs> yeah, so that is uh, my overall um, comments for this three uh, landing page. I'm going to share with you guys the link now. Because if not later, I'm going to forget about that. Shopify. Yeah, any questions? Any other questions, guys, from before? Anyone? If no question, maybe we can proceed to the pitching. So that's uh, yeah, from from the pitching, then maybe uh, I can get some question from you guys. <laughs> so um, without further ado, let's proceed with the uh, pitching session. So I will stop you guys tonight. Um, if you've uh crossed two minutes, I will stop you guys. Uh, not just not like yesterday. Okay. So the format is like this, uh, two minutes you pitch whatever you have right now and one minute will be the interaction with Kelvin. Ask for feedbacks guys, eh? um, so ask him um, and uh, we will start with the first group. Let's call upon team uh, Pritesh, then this uh, is yeah, for. For bare necessities, Nasmin you will be presenting. Okay, Nasmin. Okay. Hey. Hello. One second. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. Yes. So hello, everyone. My name is Najvi, and today I'm going to present about my uh, business venture, which is Bare Necessities. So Bare Necessities, we are an art-centric business that makes custom collectibles, such as keyboard keycaps and also minifigures. So firstly, I'll move on to our problem statement. So recently in Malaysia, we have noticed that the keyboard community has uh, grown a lot, especially during the pandemic. And what we noticed that in Malaysia, there is a lack of local manufacturers that manufactures these uh, collectible items. And thus, most Malaysians tend to go internationally when wanting to buy collectible items. And while this is a problem, because when you go internationally, the price will be sky high. This is because due to our low currency and also due to our uh, international shipping fees. And so that's where we come in. We ban necessities, we provide unique customized uh, keycaps and collectibles at a very good price point by using locally sourced materials to make it accessible to all Malaysians so that everyone can have collectibles, not just uh, very rich people. Okay, next for our market. So our demographic mainly consists of two uh, demographics, which is keyboard enthusiasts and also merchandise collectors. And while both of these gam demographics usually tend to converge at gig expos, because this is where they tend to get their collectible items and also online. And well, to take a gander at how big our market size is, we can take a look at the average uh, participants in these gig expos, such as Comic Fiesta, with uh, an average of 65,000 participants each year. So our value proposition is that 
compared to our uh, competitors, we provide a cheaper alternative while still maintaining high quality and customizability because we take in also custom uh, designs from our users. And our revenue comes from two main channels, which is on demand through uh, taking in custom mice commissions from our users and also through the marketplace where we have like online sales and also open booths at local gig conventions. Okay, so this is our goals. And so far what we have achieved, we have already achieved the product validation and we already created the minimum viable product for our keycaps. And then we also already acquired some new users just through word of mouth. And in the future, what we're planning to do is that we're planning to uh, push our marketing by using social media ads and setting up booths at conventions, which our main goal being to break into the international market. Okay, that is all from me. Thank you. Okay. Uh, nice sharing of the business, but uh, there are some problems in your slide, uh, especially, especially the first slide. Okay. First slide? Yes. Why? Because... Uh, Okay, because you have to assume everybody is first time to see your slide. So when I first time to see your slide, right, uh, my focus point will be on the introduction. Okay. Yeah. So you don't. I mean, sorry, how to say? Uh, initially, I thought your hey, your one liner is introductions. You get what I mean? So, oh. Ah. Yeah, so what are you doing introductions? Yeah, something like that. So uh, maybe you can put the custom key caps and more to replace the introduction. Yeah, to make it, I mean, sorry, you just replace the in introductions, the words to the custom key cage and more, and delete the small words. Yeah, because you need people to focus on the products instead of the introduction. You get what I mean, right? Mm, I understand. Okay, second of all is the, you can, can you go to the next one? Uh, okay, try to not use a statement in your problem statement, although it is a problem statement, okay, but uh, you try to use some, you know, like, um, icons and make it short so that people can focus on your presentation instead of the slide. You get what I mean, right? So, uh, uh, reading. yeah, yeah. B because when I try to hear uh, your voice, uh, I will lose focus on the slide. But if let's say I want to focus on the slide, then I won't hear what I what are you see. So this is the common problems of uh, uh, early stage founders. And also your solution slide, I think is good. Okay. The solution slide is good, but one question in my mind, which is, is it everyone can customize the keycaps? Uh, meaning everyone can order customized keycaps? Yeah. If let's say I want to do Iron Man, can you do it? Uh, yes, we 3D model and do everything ourselves. You, you can customize everything, am I right? Uh, okay, you have to strengthen the these points to the, to the audiences because uh, from my perspective, I think that you have a lot of customized uh, keycap that the markets don't have, but maybe I can't do customization. I will have a question mark in my mind. So you have oh. to strengthen this point. You get what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, the next one, market size. Okay, this one got a big problems. Okay. Uh, normally, uh, you have to do the, I don't know whether uh, the whether you ventures have the modules for you about how to do a market size um, slide. Normally we use Tam Samsung. Do you know this? Uh no, I don't. Uh okay, never mind. Uh, later on you can search market size, Tam Samsung, T A M S A M S O M. Yeah. So uh you have to put it in numbers, ring oh. uh, or USD. Okay, you have to tell the potential judges or the potential investor to know, okay, if you can do this business to achieve the goals that you want to achieve, what is the money that you can earn? Yeah, instead of the numbers of people that is participating in the uh, the festival. Yeah, so everything is talking about either money or users. Yeah, so it's, it's good to put money. Like, users is very hard for people to understand how, I mean, like, how many money, how, how many money that they are willing to spend. So this one is, you have to put more uh, attention on the market slides like, because especially when the judges is a professional startup judges, uh, this slide is definitely cannot one. Yeah, yeah. and next. Uh, this one, uh, I think is good, but if possible, try to put more more logos, so that if you make people feel that, okay, this market is good, because there are a lot of players instead of just four people. Uh, this is some recommendation, okay? This one got no big problems. And then uh, the largest problem will be the business model. Yeah. yeah okay, revenue models, okay. Uh, marketplace, uh, I think, okay, for marketplace, uh, these terms, uh, this terminology is talking about a two-sided marketplace like Shopee and Lazada. If you are not doing the similar model, you cannot use marketplace. Oh, we are uh, doing Shopee. Uh, yeah, you are leveraging on Shopee to sell. 
but you are not doing the next Shopee. Am I right? Oh, okay. Ah, so you cannot use marketplace. This one is uh, retail. Retail. Okay. Or O to O. Yeah, so you, can, you can't use marketplace uh, because people will misunderstand uh, about the, the, ter the terminology that you are using. So they will question you a lot during the Q&A. So because I, I know that's how are you going to do the sales, so that I know you are not a marketplace model. So you have to change from marketplace to retail. Yeah. So I think that's all from, from, from my feedback. Uh, you, you've done a good job, just some things that have to change a little bit so that it will be much more better for your pitching in the real competition. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Nadine and everyone. Make sure you guys pick Kelvin in your contact. Eh? So this can ask more on your pitch deck and whatnot. Uh, right. That's uh, bare necessities. Let's hear from the second team. Let's call upon um, Ahmed Senat. Around. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Hi everyone, my name is Ahmed Sanad and today I'll be talking about the Rand app. First, let's understand the main problem. Everyday life is becoming using different apps. Um, Only I'm one lagging. huge field has failed. I'm sorry. Uh, I think you're lagging. Can you start again? I think you're lagging. I'm sorry? You're lagging right now. So you're lagging, you're lagging. Oh, I'm lagging. Can you, hear, can you hear me better now? Yes, yes. No, okay. Okay, sir. Everyday life is becoming easier by using different apps. Only one huge field has failed to be simple. Finding the right person to get your service done. Finding the right person without going through the hassle of searching all around the internet, looking for reviews, or actually trying to find the best price and booking a date for them to come. It took me too long to say the sentence, as it took every one of us to reach out to professional service providers. It's time for a change. The market is in need of an app that provides a variety of services without the hassle of asking around. It's a simple tap, and you're connected to many professionals around you. In order to understand more, let's see how Around works. From a business owner's side, if I want to open a plumbing shop, the only option that I have for customers to approach me is by creating a website or using an app. These solutions are very expensive. On the other hand, if I create a Facebook page, I will not be able to reflect my business identity and list the things I want. Around fix all of those issues by allowing business owners to create their own profiles so the plumber can reflect his business identity by choosing beam color, creating multiple pages to fit his needs, and listing his products as shown in the picture. And for the first time ever, Bound allows the business owner to list services related to this category. So instead of the plumbing shop selling plumbing tools only, he can get more profit from plumbing related services, fixing your tap. From a customer side, if I'm a customer looking for someone to fix my tap, I will no longer need to search online or call a business or individuals. With Around, I can click on the Fix Tap service, take a photo, and explain my problem. Now, nearby business owners will be notified, and instantly I will be paired with multiple offers to choose from. Here I can accept the offer I like the most, and my request is confirmed. It's that easy. Compared to our competitors on the market, Around is the only app that provides everyday services and product customer needs with the budget they have. It provides unique tools for business owners to connect with the customers with no hassle. For starters, we'll be focusing on skilled individual and small business businesses looking to broadcast their services to the local market. Given the limited budget that small businesses have, Around is a great tool to reflect the business identity and connect potential long-term customers to them conveniently. Around uses three business models to uh, gain profit. Those models are subscription, commission, and advertising. 
Those revenue streams are, are also reflected in our three plans we offer for business owners to choose from. Each plan contains a unique feature for business owners to benefit from. Thank you so much for listening. Okay. Um, let's see. Hi, Ahmed. Uh, can you go back to the first slide? I'm sorry? Can you go back to the first slide? First slide. The first slide. Okay. Uh, you try to explain to me uh, what are you doing for, I give you a format, four examples, uh, like Artbeat is LinkedIn for designers. So for yours, what is that? Okay, it's looking, uh, actually we're looking for everyone who has a skill who can uh, copy it out of it. Is it, do you know Kao team in Malaysia? I'm sorry, they don't know it. Are you Malaysian? No, not Malaysian. Ah, okay. Uh, you want to do a marketplace for daily service, is it? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so uh, from my perspective, try to use, uh, try to use uh, the, 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 the words that everybody can understand. For example, like what I say just now, marketplace for marketplace for daily services. So people will understand it quickly. So this for, for your one one uh, one one liners discovers what surrounds you. Initially, I thought this is a social media. Okay. Yeah, uh, we you don't stop to share first because I still got something I want to ask you. Oh yeah. yeah, so my initially I really thought you want to do a social media because discover what's around you based on this statement. And also for the problem, uh, can you go to the problem statement slide? Okay. Uh, the problem statement actually, uh, okay, I can understand what are you trying to solve after you started to present this. Just uh, for the uh, competitive value propositions, okay, so problem solutions and how it works, I think no problem because Malaysia have similar startups, okay. So for competitive advantage, uh, you have to explain, you, you have to do some research for Gaudi because they just collapsed after, oh. yeah, after, I mean, they raised about 17, 17 million, 17 million, but at the end, they, they, they failed. So all the judges definitely 100% will ask you why another Gaudi can sustain and win. Okay, okay. you get what I mean, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In Malaysia, so your competitors are supposedly shouldn't be faced. Uh, Facebook can be your indirect competitor, in, indirect competitors, but DoorDash, I don't think so because you're not doing food, food delivery, right? Uh, no, but actually, uh, around allows the business owners to add both product and services, so yes, also uh, we can have you have to use some companies that is uh familiar uh, for Malaysia, DoorDash is in US. So uh, maybe DoorDash in here is maybe Potenda, okay. uh, Sharpie, yeah, something like that. So you have to try to use some logos that, you know, like at least Malaysian judges familiar with. And also, uh, they definitely, they are going to challenge you, okay, why you can, why you want to do another Gaudi, okay? Later on, I, 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 I will type the name for you, you can do some research. Yeah, okay. so from my perspective, we move the DoorDash to replace some players that is, that is in Malaysia. Yeah, so that is from what I have. And also for the, uh, how, how, how we make money, the, your revenue model. Okay, you are, you are charging the vendors, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then you charge them a subscription and also take commission. Exactly. Okay, so uh, I think that you don't have to show a tables. Why? Because you can use two sentences to settle this line. How we make money? We are, we are we are charging the vendors. We are B two B models. We charge money subscription and commission. That's all. So no. so that's I don't have to take a look for the tables. You, you get what I mean? Right? When yeah. I take a look for on the tables, then I am not focused from from your voice. So okay. yeah, I think I think the last slide. What is the last one? Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, I think should be. Yeah, that, that is the overall comments. And for the market segment, it's the same problems with what uh, I explained just now. Yeah, you have to use the standard format. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, so that is the overall. And the, you have to answer the Gaudi questions. Every judge, definitely they will ask you this. 
Okay. So that is our work on it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. So let's go to the next thing. Um, let's call upon uh, Shelly. Can you present today? Uh, we cannot hear you, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. <laughs> I still can't hear you. Yeah, I still can't hear you. I don't know why. Yeah, before sharing, uh, before Shelly start to share, yeah, Ahmed, I have uh, typed the Tao team uh, in, in the chat, in the chat box. Uh, thank you. I don't know whether that website is still, still workable or not. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no you, you are no longer uh, able to visit their website. They got, they close it already. Okay. It's not working, Shelly? Yeah, sorry. I think Shelly's mind is not working. Yeah, I think, I, I still can't, I still can't hear. Okay, I think I try to figure out what we call uh, um, the next team. All right. Uh, uh, let's call upon the next team. Uh, Jeremy, where are you from? Which group? Uh, wait, sorry, I'm actually with Ben Necessities. Uh huh. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Um, Hafizuddin Hayat. By the way, you, are from, you guys are from MMU Saido Jaya or Malaka? Yes, MMU Saido Jaya. Hey, some of them are in Malaka. Mainly in Jaya. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Isaac will present for Raya. Isaac, Isaac, are you here? Um, can you present? Uh, sure. yeah. Can you hear my voice? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see a screen? Yep. All right. So, shall we not? Shall I start this? Good evening, everyone's in the room. Uh, me and Hafiz is from Raya team. Our product is Raya, a fun, towards, a fun adventure towards financial freedom games. So, let us start the new games. So, in here, you can see Ali. As a B40 youth, uh, youth working as a food delivery rider to pay his family debts. In his quest to improve his life in desperation, he fell to an investment scam and lost his entire saving. By the time this happened, he has no insurance, emergency fund, and liquid investment to recover back. In this, uh, this is the reality that Ali and many Malaysians have, have faced to face uh, this problem uh, are very severe as shown in, the, in this article. Investment scam, illegal loans, on uh, youth bankruptcy. A large majority of Malaysians are in need of financial literacy support, have no emergency saving or insurance, life insurance and underbank. So here's a question. How to empower Malaysians with financial literacy awareness so they, um, that they can make better financial decisions. Here is our solutions. Introducing Raya, a story-based role-playing game for youth and young, pro, uh, young professionals to help them learn the importance of financial literacy, financial products. Uh, so, We primarily target the uh, underbank youth, young person, uh, young professionals such as Ali, who represent sixty percent of underbank underbank population, or roughly seven point eight million people. For competitors, there are several one of financial literacy games and business simulation games with custom pricing, custom pricing, 
what uh, different Raya from our competitor is how we give value to the players. The game serves, uh, serves as an onboarding platform for players to financial products. We expose them to financial product usage and know-how, let them make mistakes and improve and connect them to relevant finance product once they have learned. Problem faced by Ali would be mitigate if he have uh, if he undergoes this process. We plan to generate revenue via commission on traffic uh, redirect to new the bank or under bank players um, product and brand promotions in games, reward advertisement and partnership. Um, to take it forward, we are planning to partner out uh, with NGOs, corporators, CSR, government agency, and member of financial education networks, uh, FEM, as cross uh, promotion partners, some of which we are the member of the brand event uh, for each year. We set the target customer based on 100,000, assuming 4.3 players to the product user convention conventions. RM32 average commission, uh, commission via various revenue generation vehicle. Thus, um, we require about 550,000 investment to sustain about two years of operation to release these trips. My name is Isaac, and this is our team from Raya. Join us. Uh, we have uh, people like Ali to embark on a fun to uh, adventure towards financial freedom. Okay. Yeah, I saw a very good things. Your co-founder is the port of CEO of port, is it? Huh? Your, your team, the, the team slide, can you go back to the team slide? All right, sure. Uh, is that Nadia is your CEO of, uh, of Raya? The Nadia is uh, our mentor. Uh, ah, yeah. okay. So, you shouldn't put your mentor as the first person. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> misleading people. Okay. Why? Uh, because if Nadia is your co-founder, mm -hmm. then I will suggest you put the core team in the first slide. Because normally when we pitch, right, we always want to show the best slide. I mean that the most confidence or the most powerful slide in, in the first in the pitch one. So if let's say you know say the CEO of Port is your co-founder, then definitely you have to put it in the in the first page. But if let's say she's just your advisor, okay, you should have put her profile uh, in your core team okay okay definitely you if, if some of the judges they're very fierce one they'll score you <laughs> okay Thanks. Thanks uh, let, let us go back to the first one first slide first all right sure. uh, okay it's also the same similar problems uh your one one liner a fun adventures towards financial freedom mm. so very hard for me to imagine i know that is a game but is it a mobile game web game or what you get what I mean, right? Yeah. So what is that actually? Actually, until the end, I don't know what is the. I mean, I don't know what is the medium of the game. Is it a mobile app, mobile game, web game, or what? Actually, I should show you the demo, but uh, I don't think have we have the time. Or <laughs> never mind. You just you just okay. answer me first. Uh, what, okay. What, what is uh, the game? The game is uh, web based, but we are also uh going to put inside the mobile. Okay, so so far it's just a web game, a web web, web based game. Okay, so you, yeah. you should, you, know, you if I am you, I, I will say okay, Raya is a web web based game that teach people to uh, te teach B forty, uh, to how to say you cannot say to reach financial freedom or you can teach them some financial knowledge, something like that. A web game that teach B forty about the financials, uh, by financials, uh, financials uh, knowledge. With a fun way, something like that. You have to make sure your one liner, even your grandmom's read it, she will understand. Yeah. One hundred people's read it, you get one hundred same result instead of you know, like one hundred different result, one hundred one hundred different perspective. That will, will not be a good one liners. So you have to redesign your one liners. Yeah. Maybe just now whatever I said is just a references. And next one, please. Sure. Uh, you take. So many times you, you took a lot of times to, to, to talk about the story, and this is a common mistake. Uh, uh from the judge's perspective, actually, no one wants to understand what is the background. Uh, okay. Why? Because we 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 knew the background, okay, for the professional judges or 
even the investor, they know that, okay, the B40 is very tough and they don't have the financial knowledge. All the backgrounds, they know it. So you don't have to use about one, one or two minutes to explain the big backgrounds. And uh, you just, you, one problem, one big problem is that when you are talking more about the backgrounds problems, that is the society problem. So how you should talk about problems that your user is going to pay you. So why the problem that they are going to pay? Until the end, I don't know how you make money. I can't, you know, so, uh, roughly from my understanding is like, uh, because you're not showing the monetization slide, from my understanding is you want to take commissions to refer a big body, open account from the bank, is it? I know. Uh, I think this is my mistake, sorry. Yeah, so because you got one slide, uh, uh, a, a screenshot one, a, a game screenshot, that, uh, the RHB bank one. Okay. Oh, you didn't talk about this, okay. Yeah. Even you, even you show me this slide, I, I still don't understand one. Too difficult, too complex. Okay, use one sentence to tell me how you make money. Um, B two B two C and something like advertising promotion tactics. Okay, B two B two C is a selling process. Hmm. Advertising is another model. So you are combining two in one, or you are doing two separately. Uh, actually, it's both. Yeah. Okay, B two B two C. How it works? Yeah. Okay, how it works. So, um, basically, you you just saw the um, banks and kind of things. So yes. let's say the uh maybe they want to uh sponsor us or kind of things so they can have uh they can sell their product inside this game and educate people to uh buy their products. So Is in real world, they, they, they still can... advertising, right? Still advertising. Yeah, still advertising. Okay, if let's say it's more on advertising, you just talk about your business model is advertising from the financial institution. Okay. It'll be much more easier for people to understand. B two B two C is a general terms. You, we can have so many imagination. You get what I mean, right? Yeah, In the but, early stage, yeah. you you better don't you know that make people so confused for that. So, uh, that is just my own suggestion. It doesn't mean that you have to change, but. Uh, from my perspective, even you show me that slide, I will still say it, it is too complex for me to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is the overall comment about this because uh, I think that your game it got values, but you have to use a very, you know, like a, a way that can deliver your values within short time. So don't put so many complex things into your business models. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff and people are going to challenge you. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that is my feedback. Uh, because time is limited, we cannot talk so much. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we can look at the Yeah. Okay. Isaac, give it. Okay, sure. Okay. So much. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe like next time or later or during yeah, USC, yeah. because you guys are going to participate in USC. I think I think you Fancher will invite me to become mentor, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, la, so <laughs> maybe we'll enjoy really. it later on. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Isaac. Um, so let's go to the next group. Uh, Mazdina Zuha. Group mana eh? Zinanwar Legacy. Huh? Zinanwar Legacy. Uh, belum present lagi kan? Huh? Belum present lagi kan? Belum apa? Present, present. Pitch. Uh, belum lagi. Okay, belum. Belum pitch. Anyone's want to present or what? By the way, Shelly, you have to make a problem yourself already? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Uh, Shelly, okay. <laughs> Hello? Yep. Yeah, I, I can't see the slide. From my side, it's showing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, now can I? Really? Yes. Can you see me? Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Eh, wait. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Azan Suha. I'm from uh, Zinanwar Legacy. So Zinanwar Legacy. Yeah. Okay. My slide is not moving. Yeah. Mm. Any problem? I think my slide is not moving. Uh, um, what if you just share the link in the chat box and I try to open? Okay. 
So before that, uh, let's call the next team lah, macam tu. Okay. Alright. Um, let's call uh, Shelly. You ready now? Yep. Okay. okay. Anytime you ready, you may start. Hello everyone, I'm Shelly. And now when I say McDonald's, what comes to your mind? I believe it's the big yellow M on, in front of the red background, right? And that's what Shelly Creates is trying to do, which we want to help startups to increase your brand recognition with versatile brand identity that represents your brand. But the problem is most business owners are not capable of creating a strong and memorable brand identity on their own. And we have the solution, which is we provide mini brand identity package that is the that serves as strong foundation of visual identity. And we are targeting job leavers turned entrepreneurs who are non designer but they are aware of the importance of brand identity and their business model is modern and digital. For our market size, I would say it's very big. Um, based on research, there are more than 3,000 startups in Malaysia as of 2021, and the strongest industries in Malaysia are mostly non-creative industry. And Shelly Creates is um, more credible credit uh, has more credibility as compared to freelance provider websites and also templates provider websites. And at the same time, we are more affordable as compared to the big agencies in the world. For our revenue model, we are mainly B2B, but sometimes we also do B2C depends on the client. And we accept pay per project as for now for our design package. And these are our monthly goals, which is the first one is to get four inquiries per month, which will be heavily contributed that by the following two goals, which are 50 website visits per month and also 10% engagement proposed on Instagram. And our team consists of me as the art director and my boyfriend as the developer. Thank you. Okay. Um... First question, have you heard Ami before? <laughs> Sorry? Have you heard Ami before? I think so, but not, okay. not so familiar. Okay. No problem. Okay, actually you are doing a thing that is uh, one of you are doing, but you are doing in, you, you, you scale it down to focus on some, right? I mean, like you are a design agency, am I right? Yeah, I'm, you guys are like platform for designers, yes. but I yes, provide design service. Designer. Yeah. Yes. So, the first problem is, uh, can you go to the problem statement slide? Okay. Uh, no, sorry, the, 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 the previous one. Uh, so, um, okay, from my perspective, you should uh, increase your brand recognition uh, with West Coast brand identity. Maybe for some, pe some people, they cannot straight away understand what, 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 what are you trying to do. So, if let's say you want to use a much more simple sentence, what are you going to replace? Mm. Make your brand visually memorable. With cheaper cost, is it something like that? But I don't want to stress on cheap though, like affordable. Yeah. Something like that. Something. Like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like it's it's the same principle. You need to make sure your one liner. You tell everyone, including your grandma, she will have the same understanding to everybody. Yeah, so that is just my personal recommendations now, okay? So uh, when we go, can you go to the problem statement slide? Uh, capables of creating a strong and memorable brand identity. Okay, so your solution is? We have a um, brand identity package. Okay, initially I thought I'm lagging so that I, uh, when you change the slide, you see the problem identity. Oh, okay, yeah. We have the solution, mini brand identity package. Okay, just now I didn't see this slide. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know whether it's you lagging or I'm, I'm lagging. Okay, so what is the mini brand identity package? What 
does it stand for? Actually, I have in this slide where there will be in the package there will be a responsive logo system and a mini brand identity guidelines, which are the deliverables. And for freebies, we have logo revisions, which are very um, looked into by clients. And also okay. um, consultation for brand identity uh, consultation and also UI icons for them to use in their social media and also website. Uh, what do you mean about the customized responsive logo system? Are you generating logo by uh, algorithm? Uh, sorry, no. Logo is logo, but um, what I include in the package itself is the UI icons is extra, like the um, contact icons, email icons, Instagram icons. Because okay. when you Which search, you are going to you are going to you are going to type out everything. So, okay, email icon is this. Your Facebook icon is this. Instagram icon is this. Something like that. So it's yeah. a full solution for them. Okay. Yeah. So do you realize the problems? Until here, only I understand what are you doing. Okay. Okay. You get a, okay. So this will be a big problem, uh, especially in pitchings, because you have to use the shortest time, the shortest time to make the judges know what are you doing. Yeah. If they come to revenue model, only can understand, only able to understand what are you doing. That is too late. Okay. So that's why uh, what I'm saying just now is try to use some sentence that can make everybody understand what are you doing will be much more efficient and make people much more, you know, say, make, make, make them to have a strong memory after the pitching, because after the pitching, there will be a Q&A. Okay, mm. from, my, from, from my situation just now, I don't know what to ask, so that I have to ask what are you doing. Yeah, yeah so uh. that is the, I think that is the common problem for, for early stage founders, because you need time to polish your pitch deck. So uh, you can start to change from the one-liner. So maybe you can use like, we provide, uh, we provide full design uh, services with affordable price, something like that. Uh, you, you have to think somewhere else to, to, to deliver your message much more efficient. So that is from my perspective. And also from, from your market segment. Uh, uh, it's the same problems. Okay, I'm going to put, I, I did a video before that, how to do a market segment. Market size for a segment. Okay, you guys can go and see the videos on my Facebook. Okay, you have to follow that format in uh, investor pitch or startup pitch. So yeah, market size is not something like this. It's not something like this. Okay, so uh, I can't explain so much in here because we have limited times. So you guys can go to see the videos after this. Okay, yeah. So uh, just for from my perspective, this is too small. Okay, if you want to pitch to uh, startup judges, normally they might be professional judges like startup founders or investors. Okay, so if let's say your market size is too small, they will not let you to win one. Okay, so you have to think in terms of the bigger size. So that's you hope you know you, you can talk about a bigger size market. So that's this will make people feel that okay, this can be a big big business instead of a design agency, something like that. Yeah. What number is big for you? Okay. Yeah. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to get investment from angel investor or the venture capitalist, if you plan to do fundraising, your total available market must be at least one billion US dollar, worth to one billion US dollar. B. Yeah. B. Yes. One B. Yes. Okay, that is the total available market. Doesn't mean that you have to get the revenue of 1B, but the market size should be 1B. Yeah, at least 1B, yeah, at least. So, but it's okay. If you are not planning to do fundraising, you just want to maintain a small and beautiful business, that is good, okay? You just take this as a lesson. But if you want, if you, if you guys plan to raise fundings from investor, 1B is the minimum requirements for the time, a total available market. Okay. Yeah, so it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. It's no, 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 no right or wrong. <laughs> He's trying to stop us. <laughs> uh, okay, it, it's up to you guys. Nothing wrong or nothing correct. It depends on what the what are the business that you want to do. Okay. I think that's all. Yeah, you, you have to think for yourself. Okay, thank you. So, uh, call next, Mazmi. You ready now? Uh, yes, I'm ready. 
case. Hi, I'm Mazni. I'm from Zenan Malagasy. So Zenan Malagasy is produced gulai database to help customers prepare traditional meal with authentic taste of plantain, as well as to help customers save time when cooking and provide them with competitive prices. And our product doesn't have contain any MSC and inclusivity. Uh, next. Uh, next. Okay, now we move to the problem statement. People who work don't have enough time to spell meat at home and 64% of them choose to dine out and favor fast food even though the food they cook at home is healthier because it is less oily and content less addictive. Okay, uh, next. From the problem statement above, we created a cooking paste that can be used to cook gulai darat, which is save customer time because they don't have to peel the onion and find other spices to cook. Okay, uh, next, not only gulai darat, customer can also cook mikari, laksatai, and uh, uh, laksatai and mikari. Okay, next, the preparation method is really simple. You just need to add chicken, water, gulai darat paste, coconut milk together, and you wait until 5 to 10 minutes uh, to gulai to well cook. Uh, so next. Uh, why do customers need gulai darat paste? Because it's really safe time, maintain the traditional taste and sustain the quality of the food. Okay, next. What makes our product is better than competitor? Because as you can see here, ada, um, ada, uh, curry O is more to the taste of Kedahan and Babas is more to Indian taste. Ada B and all of the competitors only provide powder curry so that customer have to stir fry and peel off the onion. So it is really takes time. So next, our target market is working and busy adults, female, age 30 to 35 year old, years old, content people who live in KL. Usually they are already married and have children, so they don't have so much time to spend in the kitchen. So next, uh, because we are selling product, we can only generate revenue by selling the product. But I also think about selling ready to eat meals to the customer. For example, mikari and laksa thai. Uh, so uh, gulai darat paste is only naringgit per pack. And next, so this is our goals. Uh, first, we want to have the new brand logo and new sticker to our brand product to make it more uh, to make it more look interesting and up to date. Second, I'm going to get a lab test for nutrient facts. Uh, actually, I already got the nutrient facts last week and Chef Life so that customer will trust our brand more. And the last one is I plan to have several types of cooking paste for traditional dishes. I think that's all for me. Thank you. Okay, you made me hungry. <laughs> uh, oh my God, uh, I think, can you, can you guys hear me now? Yep. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think overall is is good. Okay, because it's easier to understand. But just for the first slide, your one liners. Uh, I I don't think you put the one liners. So, uh, I don't know why you put the idea that by must be you know actually it's not necessary. Ah, uh, okay. It's assignment page you go you get. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you should you should have your one liners to make people understand. Uh. I, I don't know because I'm not in the FMCG or FMB industry. So I don't know what is the benchmark of the products that you can use. For example, like ayam mask. I don't know what, something like that. You get ayam mask of what? Something like that. You, you get what I mean, right? So you have to understand within one, uh, one sentence. So, but it's okay. Why? Because when you start to pitch your powerful statements, I already know what are you trying to do. Okay. But if you can have one liners, uh, very short and understand uh, easy to understand that will be much more better but currently i can't give you a reference because i am not in this industry so uh this is the first feedback and can you go to the problem and solution yeah okay so uh in the, this one i think is very clear but Initially, when I saw this problem statement, I thought you are going to sell a ready products, but just need the need the consumers to 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 you know say to to heat up. 
so that they can eat. Yeah, initially my 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 understanding is this. So uh, maybe because you don't have a one liners in your first line, so maybe this is uh, the the reasons that I I, I a little bit confused uh, uh, when you present a problem in this slide. So uh, other than that, I think should be good. Except the revenue models and also the competitive advantage. Can you go to this slide? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we talk about the revenue model first. Yeah, so um, you have to tell the judges what is your business models. So for your case, you are a retail business. Okay, you are a retail business. So you should you should tell them, okay, uh, our, reven our revenue model is retail. Uh, we sell it through um, Shopee. Oh, yeah, you didn't tell us your channels. So what is your sales channel? Uh, Shopee, then WhatsApp. Yeah, you, you, are, you are going to have, uh, you, 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 are, you are doing a retail business. We are, you can say we are doing a retail business. Our sales distribution channel is um, Shopee and also some WhatsApp commerce so that people can understand very quickly and no you know, misunderstanding. Because someone will think that, okay, maybe you are going to target to the big supermarkets like Tesco. Uh, Tesco is no longer there. Yeah, you, you get what I mean, right? So um, for FMCG or the FMB business, right? Uh, normally, people are going to take, uh, put attention on your sales distribution channel because that is the key inside whether you can win from the market or not. Yeah, so you have to you know like talk more about your sales channel so that people are not going to misunderstand how are you going to, how are you going to make money. And the competitive slide is uh, is the same. Yeah. So uh, just uh, yeah. So this slide uh. From you know, it's like I, I can understand after your explanation, but initially when you show the slide, when you just show this slide, actually I'm looking for what are the differences because you show four products. Okay, so um better experience and faster outcome. Okay, faster outcome I can understand, but you know, it's like sometimes better experience is very abstract. So what is to make it specific? Yeah, you have to make it specific so that people can have the aha moment. After I heard uh, your competitive um, advantage, then I, I want to buy. You need to give people the feeling something like that. Instead of, uh, I have a better experience, you know, 100 people to hear these words, we will have 100 different standards. You get what I mean, right? Yeah, and also the market segment is the same problem. So click the link that I, I just showed to you guys just now uh, to have, a, you know, like, to have a better understanding how to make a market segment slide. And I, I don't know whether it's because the different modules, because sometimes when we talk about the market segments, uh, we, we, we are sharing our customer profile. I don't know whether is that the use, use venture's purpose to share the market segments in, in, this, in this way? Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry? So it is different trainers, so I think we need to recheck with them. Yeah, if, I mean, like from, from what I'm sharing to the group just now, is the investor standard pitch. Yeah, you have to follow yeah, that. If, um, let's say you. Right now, okay, uh, they are just like a pre. Ah, uh, uh, okay. But one day they have to go for investor also. Yeah, next so, round, only we will teach them on Camp Samsung. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, then I think uh, if that, then no, no more big problems are from, from what I saw just now. But what is good, just add the one liner so that people can understand as soon as possible. What are you doing instead of wait until the problem statement? Oh, only I, I know that okay, you are selling, uh, you, you are not selling the full solution, you're just selling you know, the, the pack of the ingredient. So, uh, at the revenue model, uh, I can put my like social media like the IT and Facebook there too. Uh, no, 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 no just like how, how you make money, e commerce platform only. Yeah, actually, it's retail, like, or retail and e commerce. Like. If you're selling, you have, if you have your own website, then it's e-commerce and retail. Oh, uh, I have landing page. Oh, okay, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you yep. so much, Disney. Um, and then the last two, let's call um, Ahmad Johan, smart spend. Ahmad Johan. Sorry. Okay, Ahmad Johan dah sorry. Uh, let's call the next group. Um, Adam Abizi atau Masih? Ada? Ya. Hello? Dengar ke? Ya, ya, ya. Ini proceed. Please, yes lah. Alright, so I'll share my screen. Uh, I'll share my screen first. 
Okay, so we have here one and then there's numbers. Let's go to the picture. This one. Oh, okay. Nice logo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, good night everyone. Eh, good night macam mana? Good night, Abin. Uh, okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Adam and I am from Automacy Farm. And we help fish farmer by providing them a best quality fish seed in the market. So basically, we are starting off with the problem statement. So uh, we accounted that most fish, are, fish farmer are having this problem after the pandemic because most of the hatchery business are closing their business because due to the transportation uh, that that's there's a prevention to, to going here and there during the KP and then somehow uh, right now they are having a problem to get a good quality fish seed even though they ha uh, we have that we have someone in the market that doing the good one but somehow they already have a contract with other big fish farmer so the the regulate like the mid the middle part and the lower the, small business that are having this difficulty so and then uh, the production of fish in large quantity needs to go through a detailed process causing fish farmer to only produce fish in small quantities and because of that reason uh, usually the third parties always get the, all them cater all the small quantities from the various places and then supply it to the fish farmer and then somehow it becomes like when it comes to the problem where they are having the where are they, when they are facing a problem like uh, there's a quality inconsistency, this third party uh, won't be able to provide the solution for them. So they're just the past year. Okay, so that is the problem statement. So here we come in, Automacy uh, Farm. We help fish farmer to get a great quality fish seed with RIS system, which is called recirculating, recirculating aquaculture system. I'll, I will explain it a bit after this. And then uh, the second one is we are implementing IoT, Internet of Things, but the, monitor, the monitoring of the oxygen content, water pH level, and ammonium content. Okay, so uh, this is something, something like technical on the fisheries part. So it's just something that which are the main problem of quality seed production, uh, especially on keep take, take care of the water quality. Yeah, so you, get, you can get the idea. Lah. And then moving forward to the... Okay. Just telling you a little bit about recirculated aquaculture system is all about it. It is, uh, it helps like the fish farmer to remove waste at the bottom and surface of the water and convert ammonia by exchanging carbon dioxide yes to oxygen. So maybe this the ammonia is really helpful for the uh, for the plant, but it's not really that is really dangerous for the fish because they are giving a lot of like uh they are having a problem with the oxygen content in the water so uh with traditional uh, tra in traditional way they are doing it like uh apa? Kita like clean clean up all the tank and then it took like one to two days and then this thing just make it uh faster like it took five minutes and so or something and then boom yeah okay and then uh here i show you this is like our Please, like, I just want to show you like the where we doing this uh the system in Pera, and I'll show you the picture more after this, and then here how are we are different. Uh, that's the first one, and the second one we are reducing our cost by doing our own uh feed, our own food for the fish, uh, which is more enough, and then we are doing a solar panel solution because uh, most of the fish farmer having a uh have to like set the price high a bit high because of the uh, bill the electricity bill. so we are installing the solar panels in our farm so we get to offer them a better price the best of the best but cheaper yeah and then we have a quality assurance uh, this will be along the way we are uh, doing a we are supplying a fish feed uh, fish seed first and then after that uh, along the way we are doing this R&D and then try try with the existing customer. 
with the quality assurance, the temperature check and the water pressure level, mana content water oxygen level and the output feeder. So the fish farmer can manage their farm like a boss. Okay. So next, this is our business model. At uh, at first, we are focusing on supplying this fish seed to the fish farm, and that is like the easiest way to make the money as soon as possible. So without like waiting the like without waiting the uh the technology complete so we focusing on this because uh, focus, uh first we are making the money first as soon as possible that's that that is the first thing and the second one is uh to make sure that we already have our capital to continue our uh, research and development on the technology and then we go to the consultation service and start installation and then the part the last part is on business partnership and then here we have uh, Project potential project location. We actually already done the RAS the RAS system. Like we took like three, only three weeks to make it done here. So maybe I think this is like yeah, it has a video let's say like short one. So this is like the point that we are doing this project. And then this is our competitor. Why we are different? So I just uh, let me show you. Uh, most of the Fish farming, like the one is for, uh, we're talking about the one who is doing specializing in hatchery process. Okay, in hatchery process, they are uh, in aquaculture resource center in Sungai Bulu Sango, we have, but they are still doing it in traditional way, which they, they also, they already, they always have this inconsistency that like we have, uh, we also get this uh, testimony from the fish farmer itself from Gender Baik Pahang. Somehow it's just, uh, even if they have their own production, they still take it from other parties. Okay, so that's the first, and then the second one, they already the technology but don't have the fishes business, and that the other one is doing the technology in aquaculture, but they are doing it in Indonesia because we are talking about Malaysia, not Indonesia. So here we conquering a space where we supply the best quality fish seed to the fish farmer by implementing technology and offer system installation to existing fish farmer. Okay, so this is just the cycle of uh, per, uh, this is just the time we have to take uh, this in a cycle, for one cycle to make a profit. Like maybe like approximately in one month lah, one month and then we can get the money because somehow people often say like, oh, it took a, long time, a lot of time to make uh, a seed, but not actually. We just have to get it done in one month. Okay, and then that's all from me. Here is my contact. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Aram, uh, are you an expert in this industry? Um, uh, I okay. Uh, do you no. think you 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 qualify to be an expert? I mean, like from your perspective. No, but. Uh, my team uh, already have that that sigil and then they already experienced doing the business. Yeah, we just okay. giving giving him a booster lah, and then we but, go for conquering on the technology part. Yeah. Why I ask this question uh, is because I think that you are an expert. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is not a good thing in terms of pitching. Okay, okay. Why? Because okay, ex we, when we have expertise is good, but. You talk a lot of jargons that I think 95% of us are not going to understand what is that. Okay, yeah. so can you go back to the your uh, the solution slide? The solution slide. Okay. Solution, solution. Actually, your one-liner is good. From your one-liner, actually, I already understood what are you doing. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you talk, I think, more than one minute in your problem statements. You talk a lot. First yeah. thing first is the problem statements. You, you, you show uh, because uh, there, there is a long statement there. So you, talk, you, you took a lot of time to explain the problem. Actually, it's very simple. You can, you can just tell, tell, tell the audiences or the judges, okay, now the small, uh, the small fishers or the small farmers, uh, fish farmers, they, can't, they, they don't have a good, uh, they, 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 don't, they don't have a good, what, uh, what, what is called this now? Just the, 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 thing that you're, the, the things that you're selling, the fish. Sorry, can you go back? Yeah. Okay. Ah, th they don't have a good fish seeds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because 
the large the 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 the, the, the provider is focusing on the large uh, fish uh, fish farmer, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's all. Okay. You get what I mean, right? Okay. They don't have it. Is because it's not because they don't have money. It's because even they have money, they can't buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's all. Okay. The solution. So our solution is to provide them. I mean, it's is to sell to them. Okay. Because they can't buy it, so we sell to them. Okay. With our technology and we with our quality product. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's all I need. Okay. So can you go to the solution? Yes. Okay. Try to explain without RAS, without IoT, without automation. You try to explain to me. Without RAS, IoT explanation. Yes, because nobody are going to understand what is RAS. Nobody. Mm. Yes. So you have to explain without jargon. That is important. Okay, I, I try to ask you, uh, are you, uh, is, is it your solutions to reduce the waste, provide a good quality of water so that the, the fish state will be good quality, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. that's all. Okay. You have to use human language, okay. but not the expert language, okay? So I took a lot of time to understand what is your technology and how it works. So I try to you know, say, conclude it for you. And you know why I can conclude it for you? It's not because I'm good in this industry. It's because mm. you took a lot of time to explain. So mm. I have my time to think, what are you doing? Mm. Okay, so yeah, you have to, you know, to simplify it, to make sure no jargons, make sure everybody understand without jargons, then it's good. Okay, your product is good, okay, to be honest. Just you have to change the way to explain to, to the judges. Yeah, because the judges are, will not be as special as me. You know, it's like to, to, to have so much tolerance to hear all. If, okay, if today I'm the judges, if I don't understand, I will bypass you, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I did that before. If I don't understand, I will bypass. Because if you can't persuade me, I won't give, I, I will not give you the JV. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's all from my principle, okay? So, okay. yeah, you have to make sure no jargons. Yeah, that is okay. the product. And the competitive advantage. Yeah, for the competitive advantage, you also took a lot of time. You just, you just check. One sentence can settle everything. Okay, we have the technology. We are selling the fish uh, uh, fishery or the seed, fish seeds. Okay, for local business, they are either don't have the fishery business or don't have the technology. The one that have both is not in Malaysia so that we can win the market. That's all. Mm, okay. Yeah, you get what I mean, right? Okay, you don't have to explain so many things. Uh, how it works, blah, 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 blah. Nobody are going to hear this. When you are mm -hmm. uh, talking about this slide, I focus on the words. I read them one by one, even the location. Mm. You get what I mean, sorry. Okay, For, do you have the market segment slide? Uh? I didn't see that, I, I think. If I uh, see that, maybe I forgot already. <laughs> the, the market segment slide? Uh? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I, I have it. Uh, it's written in a word, so uh, we don't show it to the investor. That we need to show to the investor how big the market is. Okay. okay, if possible, compare the big guy because the big guy is serving the big fish farmers now. Mm -hmm. So, okay, how big the portion is there and how big the small one? Okay, mm -hmm. and why small one is valuable for you to conquer the market? Mm -hmm. So, that is important sir, because from your insights, okay, the big guy is serving the big guy. So, you mm -hmm. want to serve the small guy. So, why the big guy don't want to serve the small guy is the question. Yeah, is that not, not big value enough so that they don't want to sell or because they don't have the resources? So yeah, this is important. You have to explain it during the market segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's all. So the only things that I want to share to you is don't use jargon. Okay. Your product is good. Just don't use jargon. If you use jargon, uh, well, you, have, you can pali kampung already during the picture. Seriously. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I think that's all. I mean, okay. We have the last group, right? Yeah, um, Ahmad Johan, you want to uh, pitch or not tonight? Ahmad Johan. If you cannot pitch, it's okay, no worries. You can proceed uh, next time.
Okay, I think that marks the end lah. Um, okay, so Johan is not responding right now. So, uh, thank you again so much, um, Kelvin, for your time. And, oh, um, done already? Yeah, because uh, we have done with all the teams right now. Because ah. um, there's some yang tak, tak bagi response. I see, so, I see. Okay, okay. No problems. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, still got one, right? Smart speed. Smart span. Yeah. Yeah. SS team. Amat Jalan tak boleh dengar suara lah. Amat Jalan, hello. Are you, uh, are you sharing the screen, Mani? No, no, not me. Then who is the smart fan? Is it Amat Johan? Yeah, he's here. He's sharing the screen, but we cannot see him. I think he's... Are you speaking? Yeah, it's me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Johan? Uh, do you have any problem with your mic? We cannot hear you. Boleh cabut mic ke? Nak try speaker tu. What's wrong? Yeah, I think he's facing the technical problem. Sorry? Technical problem maybe with the audio. We cannot hear him. I can't hear what he said. Can you guys? Amat Johan, hello. Yeah, we can see. We can see you. Tak ada masalah. You don't. <laughs> so, uh, Kami, I think we cannot uh, proceed with Amat Johan tonight because uh, the audio is up. Maybe it's... Sorry, ah. Eh, boleh? Okay. okay. Boleh, boleh. Uh, okay, okay. Um, can I can I close because I actually had my bed. No worries, no worries, no worries. Alright. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, have I share my screen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right. Uh, so I put in full screen now. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ahmad Johan. I'm from SmartSpan. Uh, below it. Below here is my team. So, so our our team, our, our startup is to help consumer to make smart spending decision and bridge customer relation with grocery provider. So, our first problem statement are shoppers often buy uh, a product that are uh, usually low quality at a cutthroat price. Uh, then they experience a false or misleading advertisement from of the product from their sellers. Then product providers uh, or manufacturer do not meet customer expectation. So then we propose of solution. We provide a second opinion uh, through AI to cater the personal preference like the quality, uh, the price, and the overall, overall experience for other users. And then uh, we present a verifier sum summarized information of the, of the product based on several parameters like uh, supply chain, uh, ethical, the ethical concern of the product that they purchase. Okay, then the third solution is to assess the worthiness and value of the product that the uh, user are uh, uh, using our product to purchase, to do their purchase. So who, what our product do is we product, provide a credible information before users about to make any purchasing decision. So we are to entrust the users, the shop, the everyday shopper to, to a pool of uh, a 
full of information of a, a very a quality product. And then, yes, uh, you we assure we assure quality certification uh, that is verified from all all uh, all uh, quality assurance uh, certification. Uh, for our potential market, we cater to all shoppers, uh, everyday shoppers uh, around around Malaysia and maybe around the world. Uh, so this is an app, everyday app, app for everyone. Uh, so we provide uh, information through our big data, through our big data, uh, uh, big, through our big data to give them uh, product insights. So we have, uh, so for the market validation, we have done, uh, uh, we have done, we have asked uh, 67 respondents uh, to ask them have they buy any useless product before 86 eight, more than 86 percent say yes and then if there are any help that any app that can help them suggest any item that is uh, they, they need it uh, 83 more than 83 percent uh, say yes they want it so this so for our competitor analysis we found out that they are fit, uh, jolly guard, and we video. So what they what the similar similarities with us is they, they do the scanning product and they provide the uh, product details and the review of the product. And but we but we uh but the problem is most of them are very specific to very specific to the uh. uh a single market, so the 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 variety of the suggestion is sparse. So, uh, but us, we are uh, to help uh, customers that we have. We are to help users that uh, that want to buy everyday product. So what? Uh, so our income model is we use uh, first we use data mining. We use a uh, generated user generated data uh, that is. Uh, from their uh, from their own uh, initiative to capture all photo and receipt of their purchase to send it to our database from all shopping method like uh, click and motor stores like Lazada, uh, Shopee, Lazada, Carousel or any any Zalora, or they whenever they go to like uh, other other uh, shopping market. Like Giant, Maiden, uh, um, Giant, Maiden, uh, Aeon Beat, whatever. So they just uh, capture their physical receipt and put in our database. So we are we are going to clean up that that data to cater for researchers, uh, basically economic and economic financial or government policy researcher. So then uh, our our income model, the next income model is uh, we plan for affiliate marketing. So for the user who are very good, very satisfied of their purchasing experience from their from other from other various platform uh, that they have done the purchase, they can use our app to to uh, share their experience. And then uh, if they are very knowledgeable of their supply chain, they can. Put, uh, Use their inform, put their information, and then uh, convert or other other users to be uh, educated in the in the product itself, and then uh, next is a subscription service. So uh, our paid subscription model allow our user turn into customer. So our database can uh, give insight on the supply chain distribution, so they can compare uh, price. And the quality of the certain product, and then uh, the last thing is advertising. So we target advertise uh cater only for free users. So uh, this is how the the apps will be used for users. So they if they look for item or brand, they just uh just list down, and then uh, our our AI will suggest them uh what what to choose from what the different stores after they done their their after they done their survey then they just uh, can uh, 
just can go to the store that they want it and just pick up at the store. So, so this is our landing page that uh, we use it to call for action. That's all. Thank you. Okay, Ahmad John. Uh, the day is not bad. I mean the design. Uh, just one question. First thing first. You want to use AI to do the analysis uh, or build the algorithms, but how you get the data? How you get the data? I uh, usually uh, we use uh, we use our uh, first we import from uh, database. Uh, then we convert it to our native database. So then uh, just user use their use their smartphone to uh, to, cap to capture a photo of uh, every product display uh, in the web or in the stores, in the shelf. Uh, I think you misunderstood what I'm asking. Okay, you uh, want to suggest the products according to my behaviors, am I right? Uh huh. But you initially you don't have my behavior data, right? Uh, uh yeah, yes. Yeah, so how you get it? Because without my behavior data, you can't recommend me anything. Or your recommendation is not accurate. So at the end I will still buy a wrong product. You get what I mean? The, your data is the the data and the recommendation is chicken and egg. Without chicken, without egg, without egg, without chicken. So how you bring how you bring the chicken and egg couple? Yeah, uh, this is the question that I think most judges will ask you. Uh. So, uh, what we do is uh, the and like any uh, the, the 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 person who want to buy, we actually we cater for single product, uh, such as uh, such as uh, Kinder Joy, uh, that uh, they use. Uh, they used to know that Kinder Joy is very expensive, but the taste is not uh, very good. Uh, but people really uh, don't just 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 uh, but the the product itself is still on the shelf because of the because of uh, the, the product the the packaging is uh, look are good. You, are you? I mean, like, is it is it how it works? It's like. I let you know what are the product that I, I, I tend to buy. You suggest me alternative, is it? Yeah. You suggest yeah. me the alternative, uh, alternative product. Yeah, we 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 not uh, suggest the alternative of different product. We suggest uh, we mostly catered for so uh, okay, like this. Uh, okay, so let's say Milo. Milo have uh, the, the packaging are same, but okay. there are different place with different price. So, oh. so what what we do is either them uh wherever they want to buy a uh, the single product they call Milo, but they know which one is the best uh, best place to buy whether online or okay, offline. Okay. We, I get we, it. We produce uh we produce the information to make them uh, decide which one is more more better more have better better deal for them. Which means your AI is not to analyze my preferences. Your AI is to help me to find the cheapest. Is it? Yes, for the first, for the first, uh, for the first stage. Uh, okay, okay, understand. Then I think maybe you should change your slide accordingly to your first page because if you don't change the question that we definitely other judges will ask you the same question. How you get the data to analyze the yeah. answers? Yeah, uh, well, our 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 focus is more on the price. Yes. Okay. Then I think you have to change that. If not, same the same product, different different change. stores. Different price, so we uh get we just uh, uh we just cleaning up the any any misinformation just for you to purchase uh, your Milo which what which which store is the best uh, which store is the best yeah. right. I think when you are pitching right, it's better for you to use the Milo examples uh, make people understand make people more easy to understand. Uh, uh pardon, use my use the Milo example that you okay all right. Yeah. yeah. Second of all, is about the business model. Uh, can you go to the business model slide or, re or the revenue model? Yes. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, I understand affiliate marketing, subscription, and advertising. What is data mining? How you make money from data mining? So we uh, basically uh, we just uh, use build that app. Uh, that app is actually uh, first we can collect data like uh, any social media, mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, for the better insight, we uh, pro provide uh, users to allow them to capture uh, capture any photo of that of uh, like uh, let's say uh, that they are shopping in uh, shopping in Tesco let's say then uh, they just uh, capture the price uh, and then they go to Aeon Beach, they capture the price of the same the same product then they compile it and uh, put in our put in our uh, file to make the database so they get they get the the you know, price reward lah, uh, a uh, price reward. How you make money? Through the through the data money. How you make money? So we just uh we just uh, sell sell the data uh to any any uh any researcher or entrepreneur market market. Is that legal? Huh? Is that legal? It's not if uh, that it doesn't involve their personal. Okay. It, 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 it's legal if if uh, sorry I'm I'm. It's legal if not involve their personal. Uh, personal. Understand. Personal. Okay. Uh, just one suggestions for your income models or the revenue models. Uh, in the early stage, uh, it's better to keep less. Okay. Why? Because sometimes uh, the judges or the investor they don't like to hear people say, "I got a chicken. Chicken can you know say can." Can give me an egg, and then the egg will, will become chicken egg. It will become chicken egg again, and then the chicken will become golden chicken in the future. Yeah, you get what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, get it. Yeah, so try to make it less. Okay, you can have you 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 can have the plan, but uh, in the early stage, just keep it short and less so that people don't confuse. You you see, uh, I, I think the judges will ask the same question: What is data money and how you make money? You have to repeat X uh, many times to make people understand. And maybe they are not uh, they are not going to agree also at the same time. So don't don't put so many obstacles for yourself during the QA. It's trying to make it lesser. Will, will be better. Yeah, I think from uh, that's all from what I observe. Uh, you got no big problems except the income model and also for the you know, say the initial chicken and egg problems, the data and the preferences and your AI. Yeah. So I think that's all. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah Nick. I think that done. we all good. Delvin, done. Thank you so much for your time, bro. Um, sepuluh setengah kita tekan. No worries. Um, and uh, thank you so much, everyone, for your uh, commitment tonight. So before we end our session tonight, um, let's um have a photo session. Boleh semua buka camera. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Let's open up our camera and um, we'll have a scan on the Okay. Uh, Mazni, Amat Senat, Amat Johan, tadi boleh boleh buka camera kan? Amat Johan tu. Aina, Amit Senat, Mazni, Amit Johan, last call. Alright. Okay guys, um, put on the big smile, ready. Three, two, one. Okay, another one. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Guys, all the best. Hari Merdeka. And see you in USC. All right. Thank you so much, you. Captain. Yeah, I'm going to leave soon. Uh, guys, just another uh, point. I, I, I just forgot to. Honey, can I leave now? Yes. Thank you so much, Captain. Okay. Bye, Bye. Honey.
So I will uh, go to with you guys um, dengan kelajuan yang pantas sebab dah nak pukul 11. <laughs> So uh, just before what um, I will share about um, crowdfunding, uh, but right now in the in the chat box I uh, put the um, slides for reward crowdfunding, and I hope that everyone can launch their product crowdfunding after you have learned about this lah. So um, semua ada lagi ke kat dalam kita gerak. Hello, I guess still here. Ada lagi, ada lagi. Alright, alright, cool. So just um, paling cepat lah saya cuba paling cepat saya boleh. I try as fast as I can. So guys, this is pitch in. So nanti terus um, tengok dekat. Uh, you look at the the documents I've shared. So um, there you can see on how to do your reward crowdfunding. So this is pitch in the home of crowdfunding in Malaysia. So basically, um, we have uh, launch a few with our students back then you can see here we do have like magic news challenge 2021 and uh, they list out categories uh, according to our students participation so the first phase uh, that you need to have is actually you need to sign up okay oh before that sorry um when you go to pitch in directly you need to go to sorry you can start again uh, here, don't go to uh, pitch equity. So this is for equity crowdfunding, but this is for reward crowdfunding. This is what you can start uh, with no cost and with what you have. Our uh, first part is go sign up and then uh, just sign up or you can just log in with uh, Facebook. And after that, you just um, click login. And then um, what you need to do is uh, you go to start your campaign. And here, uh, you can just choose um, which categories are your product described in. So um, if you're doing like um, Raya, you can go uh, under games maybe. And then if you do like um, comic, um, you can go to arts and designs or maybe educations. Um, and then you need to have your project image or, or your product image. Um, please uh, disregard what the project uh, name. You just focus on this is your product and how are you going to sell to people, okay? So um, put your um, product uh, image and then the title of your product um, and short description of your product and then um, how many are you going to raise for this reward crowdfunding and the durations of the uh, crowdfunding. And then click set up your campaign. Here, um, there are a few things that you need to have, which is first your product cover which uh, you need to um, be precise on the size that have been um, described here, which is recommended branded image is 1920 times 480 or 41 uh, expert ratio. Um, location where are you going to launch your product? And then um, you need to have your project video, which means um, the uh, your, your pitching video. And then the description of your, um, your product, um, this you can put your pitch deck. And then um, here, what you can do is that I need you guys to have a few packages for your um, first uh, supporter or your first user, which means that um, because back then uh, we have learned about a model revenue, revenue model, uh, which you do have like types of plans uh, right now. What I need you to do is that you do like a packages, uh, a few packages uh, for them to choose. And uh, what are the perks that you are going to give to them? when they um, contribute to your product. And then towards the last part um, is uh, the first one is um, the leader need to fill up the details and you can just put um, the emails and also roles of um, other members. And um, if you do have like a um, website or link in Twitter, Facebook, please put in here. Uh, so that you can cater to all channels that are related to your product. And that's all. That's how our pitch in works. So, how to do that? Um, guys. You guys clear about this? Spawn, are you guys clear about this? Adam, okay, Adam. Okay, yeah. Uh. Okay, so. Macam lebih hmm? like, like, macam straightforward juga. Ha, <laughs> macam straightforward, macam isi uh, form je. Yeah. So it's uh, very straightforward, it's just like filling a form. 
but you need to be precise on the reward and also um your video so people can uh, directly understand and they might be interested lah to be part of your product okay so um i've put the documents in the um chat box please download if not i'll put it in the whatsapp group so uh that will be all for tonight guys thank you again for your commitment um such pleasure to meet you again tonight so let's meet up uh to the next meeting thank you so much uh, and have a good night salam merdeka assalamualaikum and a very good night bye bye thank you